words can create worlds. What makes for good writing? We'll find out today on Into the Words. Welcome to Into the Words. I'm your host, Mr. McGrath. Glad to be with you today as we explore great writing. And what makes it so great? Well, yesterday, uh, last episode there, we had a informational essay from Keating about places in the world he'd like to visit. Now this, obviously, was an assignment I gave to my fourth grade class, and so we'll be hearing a few of these, and today we have a response from Valencia, and hers is titled, Dream Places. To me, the food makes a place a great place. The top qualities it takes to be a terrific place is the food, popularity, and the ratings on hotels. One place that I have been to is Maryland. One thing that made Maryland great was to hang out with my family. The three places I would like to visit are Ireland, Alaska, and Paris. I would love to go to Ireland because I have a best friend who was born in Ireland. One thing that I would love to do when I go to Ireland is eat their food. Some of my family members that have gone to Ireland have said that you could feast on their salmon. Some of the people that I would love to go with would be my mom, because I go everywhere with my mom, and she keeps me entertained. If I went to Ireland, I would like to stay for a week or more, but it would depend on the cost and my budget. I would love to go to Alaska, because ever since my cousins moved, I really wanted to visit their new home. Recently, I've been online looking up the mountains of Alaska, and they are so beautiful. One of the things I would definitely do if I go there is to take pictures of my family and I next to Denali, the highest point in the U.S. I would want to go with my parents, cousins, and grandparents, and these people would love to come because of the interest we all share in Alaska. The amount of time I would spend there is probably two weeks. I would love to go to Paris because I've read all about a famous restaurant there. It's called Du Pan de Es Adis, and this restaurant is number one on the best restaurants in Paris list, if you're wondering. The people of Ireland came up with the idea of making the list. If I ever went to Paris, I would visit the Eiffel Tower. I'd want to go with my parents and my friends Gabby and Sophie. I'd like to go with these people because when I'm with them, they keep me amused. My life would improve by going to these three places because I would experience different cultures, new traditions, and more quality time with my family. One of the difficulties that makes it not likely for me to travel to one or all these three places is that we have a cat. A couple of things that could make the trip more likely is if I save enough money, get a friend to watch over my cat, and make a whole lot of time for it. All right, well, that's Valencia's essay on dream places and again look quickly at the structure of it we have a clear introduction what makes a place a great place then we have a paragraph on ireland paragraph on alaska a paragraph on paris and then a clear conclusion and that structure really brings you through and you notice she she repeats some of her evaluations for the three different places for example in each case she says who she would bring with her and why and and it's actually different for each uh, location of the three locations that she'd like to visit each of her three dream places um, and she is very realistic about the the difficulties of international travel, that, that cost and budget and getting even someone to watch your cat, that these are all the things you must take into consideration, that it's good to dream, uh, but you have to kind of keep one foot on the earth at least. And so this is something you can use in your writing. If you were writing, say you had an, a, an opinion piece to write, you want to be realistic. And that is something that really comes out in her writing here is that she, she, these are her dream places, and yet she takes it very seriously. She has this measured quality about her consideration. And of course, that overall structure of the informational essay helps us follow along and really brings us through. And that is something that makes this a great piece of writing. Well, I hope you picked up a little tips and tricks here today on Into the Words. And so I will see you next time you join me for into the words.
Would you like your writing to be featured on Into the Words, Young Writer? Send it to jamie.mcgrath at sccpss.com.